What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the King and I Life podcast, hosted by myself, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother, Son Soul X, in his joint. Check it out. Hit us up www.kingandilife.com for all our podcast info. Subscribe to whatever podcast platform that you choose. Also, hit us up k i n g a n d e y e three six nine at gmail.com. Email us your suggestions, your feedback, and all that good stuff. Tune in to us live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share because we are all over all those social media platforms. Stay tuned for the good stuff. Yeah, we out. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's the King and I Life Podcast with Soul Touch of the Poet and my brother. The Sun Soul X. Again, hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification and make sure you comment, comment, comment. Uh, if you're listening to this on the audio, hey, you know what to do. But uh, we jumping back into it, science or religion. Sun so Lex, what's up? Yeah. Um, wow. Wow, man. You just dropped a, a complete and total bomb just then. Um, that's That's... You gave them the whole damn restaurant to think about, meaning everything on the menu. Um, on a small plate. On a small plate, yes. So I'm feeling like a one-hit wonder, and I got to follow up behind Buster Rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> like, anyone who, who knows Buster Rhymes knows if you... Or I'm fortunate enough to come behind Buster Rhymes, you know, you're not going to like because Buster is going to bring down a house. But I'm going to say my little bit with my one hit. Um, hey, wait, 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 wait. Before you jump in, all right. I want to throw this out there. Okay. This is, not a con- this is not a conversation about gay or straight. No, not at all. Period. This is not a part of this conversation. This is a conversation about, well, this that what I just said was a conversation about people saying God is not perfect. Right. But scientific proves what you are. So go ahead. Right. Okay. So um, my thing is this, right? Neither one of us was there at the beginning. I mean, the beginning. Mm -hmm. When the actual creator uh, created everything. For lack of a better word, God. Um, now, some would say, where where did the creator come from? Or where did God come from? And that's a good dang question. It, re- it really is. But let's bring our minds back down to the level of saying that the creator um, is perfect because Mm -hmm. the creator created everything we see and everything that we know in existence. So who are we to question what has taken place? Meaning again, we're, we're questioning if God is or the creator is uh, perfect. Mm-hmm. Where in the hell do we get the even the the nerve to tell or even think that the creator is wrong? Somebody tell me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> some, some, some do feel that way. Um, and again, I I'm not here to knock you. Um, for thinking that way. If you want to think that way, then, you know, by all means, do your thing. But all I know is with my feeble little mind or, you know, what access to my uh, memory I have, I am not on a level where my knowledge or understanding of the universe is that vast where I can question and say, 
that the creator who created me was wrong. And again, that's not taking a shot at anyone else. That's just simply saying for me and my level of understanding, mm-hmm. I am not prepared to say that. In my eyes, I feel that no matter what it is that was created, whether that be a piece of furniture to a bird to a human being, you were created perfect the way you are. Um, Now, are you willing to accept your own creation, meaning your own being? I don't know. But I fully accept and fully love the being that the creator has created within me. I, I'm steady growing. I'm steady learning. Amen. <laughs> I'm steady learning. I'm steady, you know, trying to make the best of my, my time here on this plane. Um, again, I am... I'm only a, a what is interpreted as a man, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I can assist a woman in creating life, meaning I can get a female pregnant, have done so. <clears throat> but for me to sit up here and say I'm beyond that creation of who or what I believe that created us, my understanding of the knowledge of the universe isn't that vast. I'm only a grain of sand on an ocean or on a beach where there's so much other pieces of sand that the ocean is bringing in. And I'm sorry if I'm I'm talking in a way that not everyone gets. Um, who will get it, will get it, and who will, won't, will not. But what I'm saying on the bigger cosmo or the biggest level of what we know as life, I'm not on that level of reaching back to the beginning point, meaning back to the source. So again, I, I'm saying all that just to say that I, I love myself. I love this plane that I'm on. I love people, although I don't really fuck with people like that. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, you know, people with negative energy, I try to start stay as far away from them as possible. But even then, I know that I'm wrong because, again, it's about balance. If you think you can always and constantly be positive and good luck to you. But again, what you just said, man, I, I, I salute that. I agree with that. And I just hope people will realize and understand what it is that you're truly saying and not let it fly over their head because they're in their feelings. I think most people will overlook what I say because they think I'm being judgmental. They think I am being uh, homophobic. Um, And a whole bunch of other things. Instead of taking what I said for what it is, like you said, it just is what it is. Um, in religion, they say be fruitful and multiply. In life, as men, we strive to keep our legacy going, keep our name going. Right. Um, But if one believes that they were born in the wrong body, the wrong gender, and let's just say the methods of 
bringing life on this planet were not available, meaning there was no artificial insemination and all this other stuff. At some point, human life would die out. And this was said to me, not in the same way that I just said it, but mm-hmm. this was presented to me by, uh, you know, somebody that we went to school with a long time ago. He said, you know, if everybody turned gay on the planet, again, this is not a gay or straight conversation, but if everybody turned gay on this planet, right. we couldn't reproduce. Um, and of course, somebody's going to have a... Uh, a rebuttal to that, but at the at the end of the day, if again, if God made mistakes, then in a nutshell, we're screwed. Um, but again, if if God is perfect, what does that say? to what people are saying. The one thing you cannot do in in a lot of situations is you can't ignore science. Mm -hmm. You just cannot ignore science. Um, Mentally, emotionally, you can be whatever you want to be. You can be whoever you want to be. If you say you're a bird, by all means, you're a bird. But scientifically, it is impossible for you to label yourself or relabel yourself something that you are genetically not. I cannot look at a dolphin and say that's a shark. I cannot look at a bear and say that's a tiger. I can't look at a mouse and say that's a rat. I can't look at a snake and say that's a lizard. Although people will say, oh, that's just a lizard with no legs. (laughs) (laughs) What I'm saying is at the end of the day, everything has its place. Right. And scientifically, you cannot debunk that. You just can't. People try, people try, people try. You know, it was a point in in history and in life where people said, oh, you can't make another animal from this, that, and the other. Now we're at a point because of God or whatever the case may be, but now we're on a, at a point in life where we can scientifically recreate life. Scientifically. Scientifically, we can find ways to make animals grow faster than what God created them to be. Scientifically. Now, the religious part of my conversation would say, how wrong is that? You're altering God's creation. Isn't that a sin? But half of these people that are doing these things are in church saying, oh, yes, Lord, amen, this, that, and other, praise God. I'm going to sit back and say, well, if you're praising God and this, that, and other, how how, how about you just leave God's creations alone? Or just leave the universe creations alone? But no, we're humans. This is acceptable sin which is why I sit there and I cannot hang so much on religion see my part of the my thought process on this conversation is not that deep I can stay on the surface and be like help me understand this but nobody can help me understand this on the surface or if they go deep because at the end of the day if God created the world and God created everything in perfection, leave it the hell alone. And if you're not going to leave it alone, then I'm going to have to say you're committing a sin because 
God is not okay with that. Or wait, wait, is God okay with that? Oh, you know what? It's 2022. God is okay with these things now. And you were talking about, you know, right and wrong against fellow man, this, that, and the other. Okay, well, again, people hold this whole religious thing in, in their heads. But there's a part of science that says humans, by default, are flawed to the point where sometimes they don't give a damn about the fellow man and religion flies right out the window. I'll give it back to you. Well said. Um, you're talking on a metaphysical plane. And again, I, I hope people can, can grasp that. Um, but yeah, we, we've come to a place in society where, again, we pick and choose what's right and what's wrong. We pick and choose um, at this particular day or time what this person is doing is wrong but then tomorrow if someone else does it they're right <laughs> you know what I'm saying it, it, it's kind of like that right now um, again when we're taking things that we know God created and we're putting that thing in a position for it pressure is being applied like we know that with certain facet of our foods they're being grown faster a hell of a lot faster than what nature would allow um, because the demand for that particular food is there so Again, we're going against what, you know, the universe has allowed or the universe has put out to us. But it's okay now because science allows us to say it's okay. And I think that's the fine line right there in between what's right and what's wrong. It's just the same as that fine line between science and religion. Mm -hmm. Again, everybody want to pick and choose what applies to them in a positive way and what they see in a negative way doesn't apply to them, so that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just... What a, can you say? Yeah, it's the world we live in. Um, <laughs> again, when I, I talk about my uncle who's a scientist... You know, I love my uncle. He's he's a great man. He just, he's such a believer in science. And again, um, he believes in religion also. But here's my thing about it, right? There's nothing wrong with wanting to see things proven to your satisfaction, meaning you want to see it you know, with your own two eyes, you want to be a witness to it, to say it went from A to Z, and you watch the whole process. But on the flip side of that, meaning when people tell you to have faith and to, um, you know, just put it in God's hands, if that's what you choose to do, then do so by all means. But I think that there's a good part to that and there's a bad part to that. Because when you have so many people being murdered, um, and being, or having so many injustice done to them, and a person who has committed this wrong to them gets to walk away <coughs> free, scot free. Where's the justice in that? Where's the right in that? Because we're trying to live by these so-called rules, and these so-called laws um, that someone else is forcing upon us. 
and I get it, they have their their usefulness. But I think we've gotten to a place in society now where there is no longer a right and a wrong. That right and wrong has turned to a very large gray area. And again, people pick and choose what area applies to them. Right and wrong is is thrown out the window now. And that's kind of like what it, it comes down to with science and religion. When it comes down to facts, people don't want to hear facts anymore. They'll jump to religion. <laughs> when it comes down to right and wrong, they don't want to hear that anymore. They'll jump to science. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of like they're playing a goddamn tennis game. But they're playing a game of I'll volley with you, but only when the things that I like come my way will I hit it back. If I don't like it, then I'm just going to let it go out. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to play the game with you. It, it just, it's crazy to me when I look at the world that we live in now. Because everything that was once good and right is now wrong. And what was wrong, once wrong, is now right. Mm, twisted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you people, this this, this so-called society that we, we live in, it, woo. <laughs> this thing is not an easy thing to navigate anymore, buddy. It's, it sure as hell ain't. Mm. Picking and choosing what, what, what applies and but doesn't apply to it. I'll drop it. Yeah, we about to close this out, but um, we got about 10 more minutes. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification comment. Um, Definitely. The last thing that I will say uh, on this, mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard of the 144,000 when it comes to the Bible and Christianity and stuff like that. Ooh, you said a mouthful just then. Go ahead. Um, I've heard several things. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard that only 144,000 people will make it to heaven. And that's under Jehovah's Witnesses, which is a denomination of Christianity. Mm -hmm. In another text, it says 144,000 were sent to convert sinners. Um, in another text, it would say these were 144,000 descendants of Jacob. If I go off of, um, oh, and, uh, and another thing is 12,000 people from several tribes were sealed with, with, with the servant's name on, on the forehead. So all those tribes, those 12,000, whatever number it is, equals 144,000. Mm -hmm. Under Christianity, all of this is under Christianity, and it's all saying different things, but it's all in the same Bible, so to speak, and it's all up to one's interpretation. Mm -hmm. For me, that's too much being left to each individual's interpretation. A lot of people may have similar thoughts and similar views on a lot of things, but... To varying degree, everything is to everyone's interpretation. Um, so when I heard 144,000 will make it to heaven, I'm sitting back saying, you telling me it's like whatever billion people on this planet and only 144,000 will make it to heaven? Where the rest of us going? <laughs> Help me understand where we going. Are we going to hell? Or are we going to be stuck in between heaven and hell? Help me understand. Help me understand. Please help me understand. But um, nobody can help me understand that. And it's always going to be, well, it's your interpretation, whatever your relationship is with God. Okay, got it. Boom. Scientifically, when I'm dead, you're going to throw me in a box. Or throw me in the fire and I'm going to be done with. 
Um, oh, I wanted to say one more thing going back to what you said about finding graves. Let's keep in mind back in the day, cremation was a big thing. Cremation was a big, big thing. Cemeteries are not that old. They're not that old for common people, I will say. Common people, meaning the less prestigious people. Um, and my final thing that I will say, scientifically, when it comes to religion, I can always guarantee that someone in a religious space is going to be corrupted or corruptible. That's been scientifically proven, proven, and I yield the floor to you for your last words. Okay. So the uh, whole burning the bodies thing. Um, they tell us that the pyramids are older than religion. So if that's true, why would they mummify all of their supposedly kings and queens or their rulers? Oh, they believed in the afterlife. Whatever that is. So I say that to say, again, if these characters in the, the Bible were so authentic, not one, not one can we say for sure is buried or within a coffin or tomb or however you want to put it. I'll leave it at that. Another thing I'll say is this. Um, we're so busy in today's society judging one another or judging situations that we can point our finger at everybody except for ourselves. I Meaning it's always someone else's fault that this occurred, but that occurred. When the truth of the matter is, sometimes we have to step back and point the finger at ourselves. You know, everybody knows the story of the Wizard of Oz, right? With Dorothy, and we're off on the yellow brick road. And <laughs> you know, you, it was all a dream. Yeah, you, you, you got all these characters within that story, and they, they go see the wizard, and the wizard is stuck behind this big ass curtain, right? Well, only in our reality, everybody wants to know who's the wizard. And I'm telling you, the wizard behind the curtain is you. Mm. Meaning you have more power over your life than what you realize you have. But until mm. you utilize that power or that strength, then of course there's always going to be someone else behind the curtain pulling the strings and making you believe you have less power than what you have. Um, there's another thing I wanted to say. It's not coming to mind right now. But anyway, what whatever your religious belief is or your faith is, by all means, um, do your thing. I second that. So we're not here to, to judge you or tell you you're wrong for believing or thinking the way that you feel. Only thing that we're saying is Think about it. <laughs> Just think about it. That's it. You know, it doesn't cost anything right now to think about it. Um, I don't know, man. This this has been a, a great topic. We actually we just came across this topic and decided to to do it tonight, and it's been on our books for a very long time. Ooh. Yeah, very a long, long time. time. But I'm glad that we we did have this discussion. I I think that when it comes down to some of our topics, we 
for lack of a better understanding, we just go with the flow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it it, it, it applies perfectly. Mm-hmm. Like, we've had some segment where we would record things and for whatever reason, it wouldn't come out right and we'd be freaking hating it. Because it's like, you're trying to go back and create a certain moment in time. You're trying to recreate those emotions that you had for that topic in that particular space and time. And this is definitely one of those topics that I feel we hit the nail on the head, meaning it was time to have this conversation. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to the King and I uh, Life podcast again. Uh, me and Soul Toucher, we couldn't be more happy about, you know, where we are right now. Of course, we want more viewers and we want people to share. But again, what's meant for us is meant for us and what's not, it's not. So with that being said, hit that like, share and subscribe. <laughs> Notification bell and comment, comment, comment on YouTube. Um, hey, like I said. Comes out on YouTube and uh, audio version same day, so you pick your choice if you want to ride your car and listen to it or, or sit on YouTube and, and check us out. Um, I was going to apologize to you because you said uh, about the tunes and how they mum- mummify and this, that, and the other, and I was like, damn, I got to apologize because we were But then I have to remember, people rated goddamn tunes and, and graves back in the day as well. Yeah. That's true. But with that being said, <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> life, look, life is life. Live it, love it. Everything in life is questionable except the proven. So take that for what it is from some soul touch of the poet. I double down on that. I double down. Go <laughs> with it. <laughs> we'll catch y'all next time. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Peace and grease, hair grease, and all that good stuff. For sure.